So we're down to our last bale of hay and um, opening it up today. I thought the top seemed a little bit damp, but it wasn't moldy. Um, after investigating further, uh, came back out to check animals in the afternoon and collect eggs, um, clean things up a little, and look at the hay better now that it's light out because it was dark in the barn at 7.30 when I came out. And the bottom is all moldy. You can't feed moldy hay to goats. Unfortunately, I screwed up. So I'm wearing my lucky hat from Ireland for a little bit of encouragement and some luck and hopefully get everything cleaned up and better. I mean, the animals still look healthy. I just opened the hay today, so I'm not too worried. But on the other hand, I don't want to be stupid or reckless either with their health. So here we go. Okay, dairy animal owners, I have questions. Goats seem a bit more, a bit more frail. They seem to have a bit more um, health troubles. Okay, the moldy hay thing today is an issue. But if we had a cow, I mean, not that I want to feed them moldy anything, but it'd be okay. It wouldn't be dangerous. It's not ideal. Goats aren't good with wet. Wet is bad for goats for respiratory issues, um, risk of pneumonia, um, hoof problems, but. Is it as bad for cattle? Would it be as bad for a Jersey cow? Um, what about parasites? I'm taking an integrated parasite management class right now and um, there's a lot to consider about parasite management. Is it such an issue with other grazers? I mean, these are browsers, but is it the same kind of issue with, with a cow? Um, I had we had an opportunity this week to purchase a doe who she would be an older doe who had freshened multiple times um, and we would be able to purchase her once she kitted so she would be in milk and we would be able to finally be in milk here on the homestead and we were really kind of looking forward to that we were praying about it and so we decided to inquire at least ask some questions about general health but, um, I guess one of the goat that she's trying to sell that doe is CL positive, which CL is a communicable disease. They get abscesses, I guess, with their lymph nodes and then there's pus and you have to lance them and other goats can get it. And that is like not really what we want to bring onto the farm. So I appreciate her being honest. So while as much as we want to be in milk, we are not so desperate. Um, So I hopped outside real quick to try to finish the video as dinner is simmering. Um, but for real, I really want to know um, if you have experience with, with dairy animals at all, especially if you've raised goats and cows, I really do want to know the difference. What do you think about, is it just because I've only experienced goats so far that I think that there's a lot of particulars in raising them? Is it because I don't have cows? I, seriously, I help me. I don't know. And I realized we're not even milking yet. We're not breeding. We're not milking. Maybe that's where all the harder cow stuff comes in. I don't know. I just, I'm feeling a little, a little frustrated, maybe a little overwhelmed. Help me out. But um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's all new and we could really use some advice. So here's the thing. Let me give you the layout. We have 18 acres. 12 of which are wooded plus the pasture that we have the front yard out that way floods like all of it um and we have the house the barn um a carport where we store all of our bee equipment um two small garden plots a, a small pond behind the house and a big pond out in the woods some of the woods flood too and there's a creek that runs through there so we have basically zero available pasture right now, which is part of the reason we went with goats because we have lots of trees. Um, it's all overgrown. Thought, great, they're really good browsers, but 
now I'm wondering <laughs> because we have so much flooding that's not good for goats we stay very damp um, we knew it, we didn't know it stayed this damp when we had goats before we moved in we did not realize it stayed this wet um, the barn is in the driest place it can be um, is it wiser to have goats for a couple of years let them between goats and pigs have them get rid of a lot of the bush uh, that we have out there we have tons of um, like raspberry bushes and prickly things I don't know lots of stuff um, small trees things like that that I think the goats can take care of and then we try to encourage pasture growth and put in a couple of cows and I, I don't know I'm I'm throwing out ideas I really need help um, so if you have any ideas or suggestions especially backed by experience please let us know we're um, really kind of uncertain at this point um, if you have dairy cattle do you have to if you're raising a family milk cow do you get it tested for all of these things like for, for goats we're looking at CL and CAE and Johns or Johans I've heard it called both I don't know how to pronounce it um, let alone I mean, that's just the regular diseases that's not even the whole parasite part of it with fecal counts and and all sorts of things so do cows come with all of that <laughs> like help me out lay it out for me um, send us messages leave them in comments whatever please trust me we've probably read the books we've probably read all the blogs we've probably watched all the vlogs on YouTube and research and hands-on experience aren't the same thing Whoa, the sump pump just went and I about peed my pants <laughs> so thank you for your time um, we really appreciate the feedback we love you all thanks